Welcome to the Page Designer tutorial. This tutorial will cover basic page layouts as well as photo strips. The Page Designer feature allows you to set how many photos will be taken in a session and how they are arranged on your final print or uploaded file. To get started in the Page Designer, click Create New Page Layout. Then enter a name for your layout. If you have a background or overlay for your layout, upload them here. Backgrounds must be JPEG files, and overlays must be PNGs saved with transparency enabled. Your photos will sit between the background and the overlay. Page size allows you to select the aspect ratio of your output file. Make sure your background and overlay have the same aspect ratio as the page size, as they will stretch and look distorted to fit it. You can select common vertical and horizontal ratios, or choose a custom one. If you are printing your page designs, this must match the size of your printer paper. The sizes displayed are in inches. To add a photo, click the plus. You can add a message to display before the photo is taken and set your photo's aspect ratio. Note that this does not set the aspect ratio of the camera itself. You need to set that separately in the camera settings tab. Because your photo holder may be different dimensions than the actual photo taken, stretch mode can be set to stretch, crop, or center your photo in the holder. Stretch will distort the photo. Center will show the entire photo and leave white space filling the difference in dimensions. And Crop will fill the holder and cut off the edges of the image as necessary. I'll use Crop here. You can also select a green screen from the list on the right to apply to the photo holder. What you see on the list are all of the green screens in the green screen tab. Since I'm using a green screen, I will select a green screen background that I have prepared. Click OK and your photo will appear on the page. You can click and drag to place the photo holder, and grab the green handle to rotate and scale. If this isn't precise enough for you, double click on the holder, click Advanced, and manually enter the position and angle. To add a second photo, click plus again. If you want to duplicate a photo within the design, click plus and check Repeat Photo Holder, and select the holder you want to duplicate. Now both say 1 because they will both hold the first photo. Press minus to delete a photo holder. You can also right click and copy a holder to preserve the same scale and rotation. Then you can use repeat photo holder to exactly duplicate it. You can import photos taken or created within the Breeze photography software and set specific printer settings. You can select the printer and configure it. You will generally only need to use this setting if you want to create an exception from the printer settings you've already set for this activation. Click OK, click Auto Apply or User Select, and choose your page design. If page design is disabled, you can still type a message you want to appear before the photo is taken here. Check Mirror Output Photo to flip the final photo horizontally and check Save Photo Holders to Output Folder to save each individual photo to the Output Folder. Next, let's create a photo strip. From 4x6 paper, 4x6 being the vertical orientation, click Create Photo Strip. Notice the page design is now narrower. It is 2x6, if the strip is set to 2. For this strip, I will upload an overlay that is 2x6 inches in size. An overlay can also be used to create convenient windows for your photo holders by making transparent areas in a photo editing software that are slightly smaller than the photo holders you will be using, you can predetermine the exact placement of your photos and work much more quickly in PBU. PBU will duplicate this strip, and if your printer is capable, it will cut the photo into two identical strips. You'll need to configure your printer settings to cut strips from a 4x6. Select your printer and click Configure. For Mitsubishi CP70D printers, in the Printer Properties menu, change the paper size to 5 by 15 times 2, type 1. In parentheses, this will list 2 by 6 times 2. This means you'll end up with two 2 by 6 prints. Different printers will require different settings in this menu. Thanks for watching, and be sure to head to our support page for more tips and tutorials.